Right, this is the third video on Lagrangian and Hamiltonian mechanics, and this is showing you how to go from the Lagrangian equation to the Hamiltonian equation. And it's a bit confusing. Right, now for your Lag Lagrangian, first you want to find the conjugate momenta, which is here, the pj, which equals d over duj, Lagrangian, and as our definition for the Hamiltonian here, the Hamiltonian h, we have it as the sum of j equals 1 to n of pj, the conjugate momenta here, times the big U, which I'll explain in a minute, minus L Lagrangian with Q big U T. So instead of a little U, it's got a big U. Now the big U is, as it says here, it's a function of q, p, and t. So it's just u as a function of q, p, and t. And this here, if you remember from the... I don't think we've got a, a video on constant or sort of motion. I'll have to do one of them. It is the Jacobian, but with a, a big U instead of a little u. That's all this H, uh, the Hamiltonian is. Yeah? Right now, to f find the Hamiltonian of this equation here, here's our Lagrangian, which is a half m a squared u squared plus m g a cosine q. Now the first thing we have to do is find this conjugate momenta, which is d over du, so this will cancel out, and you'll be left with m a squared u. Yeah? Now, we want the big U here, it's the next thing to do, which is u in terms of p and q. Yeah? So all we do here is we rearrange this equation here so the m a squared goes under the p. You can just ignore this because they're all equal. So u equals p over m a squared, which is the big U. Next thing we want to do, we want to find this here. So what we do is we have we found our conjugate momenta and we multiply that by our u minus our Lagrangian with the big U substituted in for the little u. I hope that made sense. So and we'll get this eventually half m a squared u squared minus m g a cosine q. Now how I did that was I got our uh, p here and I multiplied that I'll go back on the screen our uh, p which is m a squared u and we want to multiply it by this thing here so this times this really which uh, will m a squared u times p over m a squared so the m a squares cancel and you'll just get u times p minus the Lagrangian here. Now u times p is just m a squared u squared. So if we subtract a half of m a squared u squared, then we'll be left with a half m a, m a squared u squared minus m g a cosine q. And that's your Jacobian. And that's a, a simple method, a little trick that people should know. And now all we've got to do is the final step is substituting our big U for the little U. So we put the P M A squared in there. And this is your Hamiltonian. Let's move the camera down a bit. Which is half M A squared times P over M A squared all squared minus mga cosine cube. I hope that made sense. It's quite tricky.